What's up guys? Coming at you with a video on this really, really hot Monday. Like this is absolutely insane. It's 108 out. It was 118 when I got in my car. I live in Pacific Northwest, so I'm getting the heat wave right now. So anyone that's dealing with this stuff, stay safe, drink enough water, you will be okay. Um, today, I really wanted to focus on the, the independence of anxiety. And what I mean by that is that when it really comes down to anxiety, when it really comes down to, to fixing the root cause of the problem, it's you. You are the one that's doing it. And I see so many things about like, you know, you're not alone in this. And I understand that you need that support. But at the end of the day, the people that I see that have bro broken free, um, you know, have done it, especially in a healthier way, have done it without medication or have waned off the medication or doing it without special therapy or special needs and stuff like that. They're doing it on their own. And that is, I think, the biggest key to grasp when you're trying to recover from anxiety. Um, the lifestyle changes, the, the aid and stuff, yes, that could be helped with, with parents and support and family members. Um, and obviously people use other means that I don't prescribe like drugs, alcohol, other things like that. That's simply not going to treat the root cause of the problem. We're trying to fix the root cause. That's always what I've been trying to fix. And that is the fact that your body has become too overstressed. It can't handle the modern day stressors of today or the specific stressors that you're putting on yourself. And you have to make lifestyle changes, big lifestyle changes. And they need, they, they take time to develop, but you know, I, w I was been talking with uh, one of the scribers, I'll call him D, um, and he's been messaging me on his progress about, you know, he's doing high intensity interval training and he is really going after it. And I hope that he continues to go after it, but it's cool to see the changes that he's made from what even what he had, you know, a few weeks ago. Like it's cool to see the changes. Now, some people could change in two weeks. For me, it took me months, it took me years. Um, to really see changes and, and I can see now I can I can predict what happens you know or when I'm going to get stressed out or what's going to happen like you, you you are malleable so for me it's like identifying the problem was the biggest issue so step one you take those tests you know step two if the test come back negative you know if you got to get another test take it but there's there's the leap of faith moment and I had that leap of faith moment when I was in Hawaii, when, you know, I was about two or it was about three years ago and I've been dealing with this stuff for about a year and a half. And I just, I, I was still convinced that there had to have been something more, a bigger disease or something. And I'll never forget like the third or fourth day. And I've told this story, not the specific moment, but I was driving in Maui. We we're passing the Plantation Golf Course, which is a beautiful golf course on the island. It hosts a PGA Tour event. And I just remembered like the head pressure was gone. It'd been the first time in a very, very long time, like midday, that my head pressure was gone completely. And that I was, I was happy. You know, I felt the, the energy flowing through me. It was a different feeling that I haven't had in a while. And I was like, that's it. It's, it's stress, it's, it's solely stress. And I can't tell you how often this is the case for a lot of people because they don't relax, they run on a bo bottle of stress. So we've identified the problem and now we've accepted it. We've accepted what it is. The third thing is to really take action. And then step two was taking action too, to get to that point. But three is taking action, whether that's diet, exercise, meditation, stuff like that, to limit the cortisol, to limit the stress. Because if you can get that stress level down, your body can recover, especially the younger you are. And I know a lot of my viewers are in that age range where you're totally fine, you can still recover. Even if you're older, you can still recover. But this is that main age frame that watches my channel that that this is this is really the main goal. Step four then is to be able to re-realize if things come back that you don't relapse. And what I mean by this is, is, is I've had these issues where a new symptom pops up and I think, or, or a same one that occurring, but it didn't occur for a while. And I immediately think it's something worse. So developing that intelligent IQ of 
being like, this is still anxiety. You've just, you're, you're back in a cycle. So you gotta break it. And then the fifth one, I think for a lot of people is helping others. We are all in this together. It is something that has plagued our nation and other nations and the world. I mean, anxiety really and depression really, really screws with a lot of people. It really, really does. And it doesn't have to, it doesn't have to at all. You know, there's many things we have to overcome to get better, but it's something that that's why I wanted to share it. Even my experiences from phase one to five um, is to share it and experience it because that the, the world of the internet has really helped this because like I said, there still isn't that much head pressure content, but I get a lot of people that say like, oh, I love that you have content on this because it's something that, that I, you know, experience all the time, but there's not that much content. As I grow my channel and more content gets out there, hopefully more and more people will do it. But at the end of the day, it was me that got through this. I did that. And that's, that's uplifting. That's got to feel good that you did that. I got a question today where I was playing uh, this thing with my coworker and all of a sudden it got really serious. She was, it was a, it's like an easier, hard question. It's like, what is the biggest achievement you've ever had? And I was like, uh, defeating anxiety slash coping with anxiety slash living with anxiety. <laughs> and it, you know, she's like, that's awesome. Because it truly is. It truly is to be able to to, to ever to cope with that, to be where I was, to get to where I am without drugs, without alcohol, without special treatment or, you know, electrotherapy or all these crazy things. A holistic, down to earth approach that takes a better diet, better exercise, better wellness, better overall, you know, body treatment to get to your goal of being anxiety free. Or, or gain your happiness or more mellow or more calm. That's the main goal out of all of this. And it has to be done alone when it's all said and done. Because if you live, try to live through someone else and be someone else, that's a problem. You can use me as advice, you can use me as help, but at the end of the day, your body is much different than mine. My body may be much more or much less sensitive to drugs than yours, to exercise, to posture, to diet, to your overall, but that the principles remain the same. You know, the principles do still remain the same. You know, it just, it depends on the body and what it can take and, and, and how you overcome that. But at the end of the day, it's an individual game. Um, so I really, really appreciate um, everyone's support, but you will never, you will never overcome anxiety or anxiety head pressure until you understand the fundamental principle that you have to do this alone. You have to take that leap of faith. You have to take charge of your life. You have to make those lifestyle changes on your own. You can have guidance along the way, but you gotta do it independently because anxiety is the fear. It's the loneliness that you have to overcome to beat, to crush, to be like, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm, ma I'm changing my life for the better, for the good, to uplift and live a joyous and happy life. So hope you guys enjoy. Peace.